Yeah. Uh, just quickly, your son, Manny yes. Robles III, been on a, uh, on a terror recently. What's yes. the latest with him? When's he coming uh, back? He fights on May the 16th. Fights on May the, we just got a fight date confirmed, so we're looking forward to that, May 16th, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. Uh, just kind of last subject, I know Jacobs is happening May 4th, mm. just what are your thoughts on it? How does that fight play out, do you think? Uh, that's going to be a good fight. Don't sleep on Daniel Jacobs, man, he's a hell of a fighter. But I, you got to respect uh, Canelo because he, he never looks for an easy fight. He's always trying to fight the best and, and I think that uh, with Daniel Jacobs, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, May the best man win. Is that kind of like a 50 50 fight, or do you feel like so. maybe Canelo's a little more? I so. or yeah. Those are the type of fighters that people want to watch, you know? People want to see these tough 50 50 fights. Triple G, Canelo, uh, you know, and now Jacobs, Canelo. I mean, that's, that's, I'm going to be watching that one. That's what <laughs> you look excited, man. Uh, yeah. Just another one. Uh, well, just recently, obviously, Spence defeated uh, Garcia yeah. uh, about a month back or a couple weeks back. Uh, just first, what was your thoughts on that performance, and where does Spence go from here? Are these welterweights going to fight him? <laughs> oh, man, I said it, man. I, I picked, uh, with all due respect to Mikey Garcia, I did pick Errol Spence to win. He's just he's a great fighter. He's the best fighter in the division. He's big, he's strong, he's quick, he's fast. He's a complete fighter, softball, slick, great boxer. I got I had the privilege of working with Errol Spence. And uh, for the uh, uh, when he was working with the national team in 2011 for the world championships and so forth, so I know I know that this kid is a, he's a hungry fighter, man. He's a very very dedicated fighter. I, I believe nothing's changed. That's why he is who he is today, and he's a better fighter if anything. Now uh, I just think he's the man to beat, and you know uh, Mikey Garcia, he's an incredible fighter. But he, he picked it. He, he should have picked another route, in my opinion. He should have moving up to super to, uh, to moving up to the welterweight division. He could have taken an easier route. But I respect Mikey for taking on the challenge, man. You can't knock him. You know, it is what it is. And he's still the champ. He's still he's still my champ. He's still people's champion. So you know, one of my favorite fighters, just like Errol Spence is. So you know, it is what it is. It's boxing, as we said, and, and, and you got to turn the page and move forward. You you seem to have a very clear kind of re remembering remembrance of Earl Spence and how dedicated he was back then. Was there like a, a certain uh, thing that happened or, or something that kind of made the click? Let me, let me tell you a, bit, a little bit about Earl Spence and, uh, uh, and uh, Errol Spence knows what's up. Uh, when we were in um, at the World Championships in Baku, Azerbaijan, uh, we would I was in the, the head coach then. Uh, somebody else was I was the assistant coach. At the, at the time, so we would go, you know, and do whatever our head coach would say. Just, okay, we'll go to the gym, we'll train, we'll put in our workout, but it was never enough for Errol Spence. We go back to the hotel room and he go knock on my door, coach, I'll meet you in my room, let's go to work, I need more, I want more. So there, there, there we were in his, in his bedroom, you know, moving the sofa, moving the bed, and just going at it, working on a match and getting... You know, he, he wanted to work. He was a he's a hard worker, man. Says, give me more, give me more. So, you know, fighters, got you know, you just gotta work. You know, you gotta you gotta give them what they want. Yeah. You know, I like to work. He likes to work. So let's go. Man. I was gonna say, I know you, man. That's so why I know you were like, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go, move man. all this you stuff. Know, that's why, yeah. When you do what you love, you never gotta work a day in your life. It's man. true, brother. We're not we're not working right now. We're not, man. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, no. uh, tell the fans, man, where they can follow you. I know you got you got a farm over there, man, in uh, in, in Norwalk. You got a lot of fighters still working hard, man. Tell the fans where they can follow you and uh, and see the progress. Emmanuel Boxing on Instagram, Emmanuel Boxing and on Facebook. There it is, man. Appreciate your time, brother. As always, man.